As the crisp fall air begins to roll over Oxford, the inevitable comes to fruition. In the final week of the season, a time that, as freshmen, had always seemed so far away, is now suddenly upon the senior class. Their last practice. I remember when I first got here, it looked like there was no light at the end of the tunnel. I'll be here for a while, and then it just <laughs> flew by. And it's the last day already, last practice. I'm trying to just take it all in and accept what's going to happen. You know, I'm ready for whatever, whatever's about to happen. So I'm just thankful for it. Thank you. Feels like I was a little boy yesterday. Now I'm a senior in college. Time flies like this. As the sun sets on the career of 19 seniors, their maturity shows, evident in the realization of what was most important during their time at Ole Miss. Pretty surreal right now. You know, it'll probably hit me later down the road, but you know, one of the biggest things I'll probably miss is being in the locker room with the guys. So it's good to come out here a little bit with them and you know, go spend some more time with them after this. Man, look, we got the last half of coming in. My last tackle as an Ole Miss Rebel is about to happen. Wearing 38, it means a lot. I didn't really think it was going to mean as much until it's time now, but it means a whole bunch. It's, it's crazy. Let's go, bring it in, grab a knee. Even though it's Tuesday, it's a normal Thursday for us. But instead of uh, Player of the Week this year, we're doing Scout Team Player of the Year. Okay, so Scout Team, Scout Team Player of the Year to lead us out of the tunnel in our last game for the defense. For the defense, Jacob Sendoya. Great job all year. Great job. Great job. All right, hey, and for uh, for the offensive side of the ball, uh, Jordan A. Bear. Never thought this day would come. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, but man, I, I, each and every one of y'all, man, I love y'all. I love you too, man. <laughs> I, you know, you can tell this team's different by just what we've been through and all the adversity we've gone through. And y'all are special guys, and I am so excited to see where this program goes, because. I've given everything I got, and it's all been for y'all. And I love y'all more than anything. Good job. Now sit down. Go, 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 go. All right. Hey, now we have a um, we have a tradition. It's called last tackle. It's for the last the last practice uh, for the seniors. This is a really special group. It's a group that uh, they've been through a lot and they, they didn't sign up for any of it, but they've been through a lot. Anybody, anybody can leave when it's easy, but during tough times, that's when real people step up. Real leaders step up at the toughest and the darkest moments. And that's what this senior class has done. So I just, uh, man, I, I'm, I'm grateful to you and I love you. And uh, so we're going to tribute. So what, what I need you to do is seniors go line up on uh, on Tom. First up, Floyd Allen. <laughs> Dietrich Bing Gooch. Davis County. Bassfield. From Bassfield, CJ Moore, Chucky! <laughs> Sean Rollins! <laughs> Jordan Tamu! <laughs> and last but not least, Big Cedric Wood! <laughs> <laughs> My seniors, man. Uh, you know, you got Ken and Jay Ham. Um, you know, they've been my dog since day one. 
You know, Ken took care of me my first day here, and uh, I just wanted to make sure I took care of him on his last day out. You know, that's that's it, man. I love them boys, man. I'm gonna miss them. You know, I love them. I miss them. You know, I miss them. I miss his feel. I miss everything about this place. You know, uh, one last time Thursday night. You know, let it on the line. Man. Let it on the line, man. Give it, Dang, give everything man. I got. So. I don't know. I love this place, though. Oh yeah. With the senior practice finished. One tradition has come to an end. Now, with the work put in, Ole Miss football student athletes have the opportunity to cool down and relax in the company of their teammates. All the while, in the Manning Center, another yearly custom heats up with the playing of the Turkey Bowl, the managers versus the trainers. For the past 10 seasons, it has been a game controlled exclusively by the managers. Think about all those managers that came before us. You think they want to see the street come to an end? I don't think so. The managers solidified the series last year with a decade of dominance. But each year, a feisty new slew of trainers arrive, hoping to hoist the trophy. Managers taking the L, trainers, first dub, 10 years, let's go. Might be, we're looking to throw up a six piece today, 60 nothing. Me, me, see you guys. I don't know why I managed, I should have played. Yeah. I should have walked on. Give him six, give him six. Easy money, baby. Easy money, baby. Oh, thank God he sucks. Guys, match the pass. He's got one across the middle. Oh, but he wants the deep ball. He's got him. No hands. Dig route, dig route. No, nope, never mind. Nope, we're not doing that. Over, oh, oh, I'm over. Ooh. They didn't have the speed nor the skill on the outside to keep up with our best receivers or even our, our receivers that slow or on the total pole. That'd be 11 times in a row. 11 times in a row. It's all hard right here. within the organization. I think if we had a better, more experienced coaching staff, this kind of thing would have happened. I know a lot of players were just here so we wouldn't get fined. 5-0 as a student, off to the real world now. Howdy, howdy. You know, it was a good game. Uh, we did what we did. X is my QB right here, and we got some other guys back there. We just really killed it, and it's going to be the same next year. <laughs>